of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai is calling for the escalation of military offensives within the next 39 days. He believes this will ensure that terrorists do not take advantage of the transition window to unleash mayhem on innocent citizens. The governor was reacting to the security report of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023, which reveals that 214 people were killed, 746 others kidnapped from January to March 2023. Kaduna. Lupe Asom has details. Kaduna State Internal Security Commissioner Samuel Aruan presenting the security summary for the first quarter before the State Security Council. His report indicates the persistence of security challenges including terrorism, banditry and the rise in killings and kidnappings and other threats to livelihood. It also contains data on the number of deaths recorded in the state due to these crimes within the period from January to March this year. Deaths linked to banditry, terrorism, communal clashes, violent attacks and reprisals. We had 214. In 2022, we had 1,052 deaths. Kaduna Central Central District accounts for 641. Giwa top with 180. Kajuru 121, Gedungwali 120, Chukun 116, Igali 83. The report shows the Kaduna Central and Southern Senatorial Zones are the most hit. But sustained military efforts yielded results. Mr. Aruan said high profile bandits and their foot soldiers were killed in ground and air strikes. The governor is troubled by the attacks. He's appealing to the federal government to scale up measures to end insecurity within the next 39 days. We appeal for an escalation of security operations over the next 39 days remaining till the end of the tenure of this administration and beyond, so that the change of button at the federal level does not result in a dangerous law that criminal outlaws can exploit. Kaduna State Director of DSS, alleges plans by terrorists to resume attacks on the Kaduna Abuja Highway, which has been relatively calm. Recent intercepts are beginning to indicate that these bandits want to come over to that place to commence activities. And uh, we know how strategic that road is. The Kaduna government will appreciate the execution of clearance operations by ground and air in frontline areas of the state, identified as locations of bandit enclaves. The Kaduna state governor is also calling on the federal government to spearhead national efforts towards improving security, such as the acquisition of advanced armaments, the use of technology, and the addition of more boots on the ground. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.